We've all been there. Sitting in a job interview like a nervous wreck when they ask, so if you were a fruit, what fruit would you be? And you panic and you say, tomato. Tomato? Is it even a fruit? Job interviews can be hard work at best times, so you might think one in Spanish is out of the question, right? Wrong. Because we're here to help with everything you need for a job interview in Spanish. In this video, we are going to build your vocabulary with a look at 10 terms related to job interviews in Spanish. Then, five pairs of the most useful Spanish Q&A phrases that will come in handy when you're looking to secure that job offer. Remember, if you want to learn how to speak Spanish, make sure to check out Baselink.com where you can get access to unlimited one-on-one -on -one Spanish classes with native speaking teachers all via Zoom. What's that sound? Sounds like they're ready for us. Let's dive into some words for that job interview. First up, we're going to take a look at 10 key terms that will boost your vocabulary and help you in your Spanish speaking career. Starting us off at number one is one of the first things you'll see when applying for a job, the job description. It's important to know what job you're applying for. So finding the job description will be crucial to understand the role. In Spanish, descripción del empleo means job description. Nice and simple. For example, we have, ¿Te importaría compartir la descripción del empleo? Would you mind sharing the job description? Our second key term is company profile. Once you found a role you like, you'll want to do some research into who you're working for, right? Looking into the company profile can help you make sure it's the right sort of place you want to work in. To say company profile in Spanish, use perfil de la empresa. And if you want to sound super clued up in an interview, you can say el perfil de la empresa suena fascinante. The company's profile sounds fascinating. One of the most important components of job hunting is that number three, your resume. There are two options for this. Just like in English with resume or CV, in Spanish you have resume, curriculum, and CV, hoja de vida. For example, you should print your resume beforehand. Deberías de imprimir tu curriculum con anticipación. Or you should print your CV beforehand. Deberías imprimir tu hoja de vida con anticipación. After you've sent off the application comes the wait. And with any luck, you receive an invitation to key term number four, a job interview. To say job interview in Spanish, use entrevista de trabajo. For example, prepararse antes de una entrevista de trabajo es imprescindible. Getting ready before a job interview is a must. Now we're getting to the nitty gritty and looking at some of the key vocabulary you'll be using when you're in the job interview. Before we do, make sure you've hit that subscribe button. You can even list it on your curriculum. The fifth term on our list is one which nearly always comes up as a question. What are your strengths? In Spanish, strength is fortaleza. And in an interview, you could say, mi mayor fortaleza es, my greatest strength is, which ties in nicely with number six, weakness. In Spanish, weakness is debilidad. For example, mi mayor debilidad es, my greatest weakness is, and you can follow it up with sin embargo, however, to talk about how you deal with it. Talking about your strengths and weaknesses can be crucial in interviews. And we're sure that thanks to Baseline, your Spanish skills won't be a weakness. Term number seven is a great example if you're asked for an example of your fortaleza, your strength. Teamwork. Teamwork is trabajo en equipo. For example, you could say teamwork is the key to achieve any goal. El trabajo en equipo es la clave para alcanzar cualquier meta. Another great strength to mention is punctuality. Punctuality in Spanish is puntualidad. An example of using this in an interview is Mi mayor fortaleza es la puntualidad. My greatest strength is punctuality. 
Now we come to the final two pieces of vocabulary on our list. Hopefully at this point you've aced your interview and they might ask you about salary expectations. In Spanish they would say aspiración salarial or salario deseado. For example, ¿cuál es tu aspiración salarial? What is your salary expectation? Which brings us to number 10, what the whole process has been for, the employment contract. With any luck, you get to sign your name on the dotted line and your job hunt has been a success. Employment contract is contrato de trabajo. For example, my employment contract will last at least six months. Mi contrato de trabajo tendrá una duración mínima de seis meses. So that rounds off our list of key vocabulary for you to use in a job interview. But we've still got some helpful phrases to share with you. Before we check them out, if you want even more job interview related words, we have a full article with over 30 words. Check it out in the description below. Next up, we're going to share with you five pairs of questions and answers that might come up in your interview. At number five is the phrase you'll often hear at the beginning of any interview. ¿Me podría hablar de usted, su experiencia o conocimientos en? Which means, may you tell me about yourself, your experience, or knowledge in, whatever the topic may be. To answer, you could talk about your education. For example, soy licenciado en, which means I have a degree in. Another common question at number four, ¿Qué sabe sobre nuestra empresa? which means, what do you know about our company? To which you might reply, Conocí esta empresa a través de las redes sociales. I knew about this company through social media. Or it could be a través de un amigo, through a friend. Down to our final three, with one that we've already touched on. What are your greatest strengths and weaknesses? In Spanish, this would be, ¿Cuáles consideras que son tus debilidades y fortalezas? And you can answer by saying, mi mayor fortaleza, my biggest strength, or mi debilidad is, my weakness is, followed by whatever they may be. For example, mi mayor fortaleza es la puntualidad. My greatest strength is punctuality. Coming in at number two is, ¿Qué metas tiene para el futuro? What are your goals for the future? Your answers can vary here, but a great one is, developing my professional skills. Desarrollar mis habilidades profesionales. And number one, the final phrase you'll always hear at the end of every interview is, ¿Tienes alguna pregunta? Do you have any questions? If you wanted to answer yes, you could say, Sí, me gustaría saber. Yes, I'd like to know. Or, no, no tengo ninguna por los momentos. No, I don't have any questions so far. Speaking of questions, do you have any questions for us? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want to practice for a job interview or any other scenario in Spanish, why not schedule your first Baselink class today? At Baselink.com, you get access to unlimited one-on-one -on -one Spanish classes with native speaking teachers all via Zoom. Try your first week for only one month. Hopefully you now have the tools you need to ace a job interview in Spanish. So get out there and good luck. Remember, for a lot more words and phrases related to job interviews, check out our full article in the description below. If you want to try to lighten the mood in your interview, check out our other video on funny Spanish phrases. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next lesson.